could charge them with manslaughter. Mm, I think I might change their, uh, their look on the life. Look, I mean, I've never been the kind of piss in some of these, but I'm going to piss in your eats. I'm just saying. So, under Gina, they cannot require you to be genetically tested, so they can't require the COVID test. Under the Colorado restraint laws, they cannot require you to wear a mask. And then under Gina as well, they cannot require you to have a vaccine. And so if they're not going to accept a religious or medical exemption or uphold the federal law, you start charging them with harassment. You go and you file a criminal charge for harassment, menacing, false imprisonment, criminal coercion, and you put everything on there that you can possibly think of that's applicable, and you set it off. And you do the coaches, you do the board of directors, you do the, the school president. Everybody that you can think of, you start doing it. Because like I said, it costs nothing to do it, but also, did you know it's against the law to retaliate? No. Oh. You mean I can't just file a whole bunch of criminal charges because? Because then, they would actually have to go through and prove that you had a false statement. Right? False reporting. That means the law enforcement actually has to do their job. Do you think that your local law enforcement is going to start investigating 100,000 cases of harassment? <laughs> <laughs> but it looks really good. Yes. Did you know that part of the definition of assault is creating serious bodily injury against another? Which can be left up to interpretation because perception is not interpret of the law. So what I would do, file false imprisonment, harassment, menacing, and assault in third degree. There you go. I guess I should have told you this. Um, Thomas Renz from American Frontline Doctors is my attorney. And when I sent this over to him a couple weeks ago, he called me back. He spent all Labor Day weekend vetting it. I'm sorry for that. Um, but he called me that Tuesday and he said, I think you broke COVID. And I said, well, that's good. Let's break COVID. Um, because Gina was adopted by all these other seven federal codes, it will fall into the Americans with Disabilities Act. And so all of these seven federal laws protect your religious and medical freedoms, but also remember genetic information is now protected class. And so they cannot require you to get testing or the vaccines based on genetic information. So file criminal charges. Look, how many of you guys have a hundred thousand dollars to spend on attorney? No. But if I said you go do this for free, do it. Do it. Because here's the thing. Your law enforcement officer is going to take the case, they're going to take them over to the DA, and the DA is going to decide whether or not to prosecute. When the DA gets 100,000 com criminal complaints on her desk in one day, what do you think is going to happen? Our crime statistics have gone through the roof overnight. You now have people who are filing criminal charges against elected officials, appointed officials, and school boards, private entities. It's going to be complete chaos. And here's what's going to happen. The more chaos you cause, the more they're going to have to come out and back down. There can be really good things that are created from chaos. Just ask my kids when they bake cookies. <laughs> but you have to be willing to step up and do it. If you have five minutes to be a keyboard warrior on social media, you've got five minutes to file a criminal complaint. Amen. Do it.
cover in by October 31st. She goes on maternity leave before then. Um, so she hasn't gotten her doctor will sign an exemption medically for her, even pregnant or breastfeeding. Right? And then um, on top of that, she's not, she just knows they're not going to approve her religious exemption. So did she just go ahead and go on her maternity leave and just, since it happens before the 31st, and just lay low? No. No. File your criminal complaints because employers cannot fire you as it will be reviewed as retaliation. Woo! Yeah. And, and if you retaliate against someone who's filed a criminal complaint, the charges go significantly higher. Mm. So you tell her to file a criminal charge first, then go on medical leave, congratulations on the baby, have fun, enjoy the time, and then come back to work and give them help. Awesome. <laughs> and yes. you don't think there's going to be Oh yeah, here's the thing. You're gonna have law enforcement officers that are being told by their chief, you don't accept these, you don't answer calls, you don't go to these. So here's the thing. That's against the law. They have to be willing to take a criminal complaint, but it makes it easier for them because remember, our law enforcement are in the same boat you're in. And if you take 100 people every day to go file a criminal complaint for harassment, you're taking them away from responding to rape, everything else. Go in and file it in person if you don't have a computer, but use your computer. Okay, keep the, the weight off of our law enforcement. The other thing is, once it's filed in their system, you automatically get a CAD number, which is a case number. As soon as you get that case number, it's filed. And by the way, I like to really mess with people, so I just bring them off and take them and give them as a gift to my employers. Have fun with your coffee. It's really important. But look, the, the great thing about the online system is it, it gives you an instant CAD number. You don't have to wait. You call a law enforcement officer, depending on how busy your day is, you might be an hour before you get to see them. And then they got to do the same thing they thought. Dispatch. Negative, Devin. 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 Negative, So the question is, what if my employer doesn't fire me and I don't quit, what do I do? Because they just don't want to pay unemployment. Show up every day until they firmly trespass you because on the criminal trespass form, they will have to put your data information. There we go. So in Colorado, that's considered a soft firing. And again, show up every day until they firmly trespass you and make them put it right. Also, if you guys are ever having closed meetings with your boss to talk about this stuff, in Colorado, you have the right to record it. Record it. And then put it on social media. And send it to the night office. Okay. Gina, Act 2008. It applies for military. Sounds like we need to get real familiar with Gina, guys. Yeah. 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 danielcasillo.com and hear this directly from her so they take you out as a, as, a, as a third party. And then should you want to file criminal charges, I would not stand in your way as a manager. 
I would encourage you to do opposition research. I would encourage you to seek out legal avenues. I would encourage you to look at your discrimination policy in your own hospital and handle it. You said go ahead and file the criminal charges. So if they give you a deadline and those charges haven't been processed or whatever, I know you get the cab number, but you got to be vaccinated by October 31st. You file it right away and it has nothing going on with you there. They cannot fire you because it's seen as a condition of retaliation. And so what you do is you get that CAD number and you go to your employer and say, under the criminal revised statutes of harassment and in regards to the Civil Rights Act of 1964 and the Gina Act of 2008, I have invoked my right as an American citizen to file criminal charges against you. And any retaliation, including termination, will be considered an additional retaliation and I will subsequently amend my criminal complaint. So what if they ask you to leave until it's all said and done? They have to pay you. Mm -hmm. So you can tell them, I'd be happy to go on administrative leave with my full pay and benefits, and failure to do so will be considered an act of retaliation, and I will see you in court. Because like I said, when there's hundreds of you guys doing this together, they're going to have an, oh shit, I just pooped my pants moment. <laughs> because these people think that they're above the law, and they don't think that you guys are going to step up and use the criminal code. The minute you do, is the minute they realize they screwed up. Because it's nice as a CEO to say, I'll go ahead and accept all these federal kickbacks from the government, and we'll line my pockets with money. If I, I don't care about you. You're just a lowly nurse. CNA, whatever. I'll replace you. When all of a sudden you go, but you can go to jail for decades. You know that little tiny prison where you get over the same jumpsuit and you have to eat three meals a day, and they manage your recreation time, oh, by the way, you have to poop and pee in front of other people? That, for the rest of your life, instead of your $40 steaks at Shanahan's every night, they're going to go, hmm, maybe I should call my attorney. And then they're going to say, hmm, maybe we missed something. Hmm, let's go ahead and let's just bench this for right now. Let's wait to see what happens somewhere else. And that's what we want. We want them to bench it. Yes, ma'am. So I am, I work in home 